This is the Kilauea eruption update for the 4th of December, 2021. Lava continues to erupt from a single vent on the western wall of Halea Maumau crater. Sulfur dioxide emissions dropped from 6,400 tons per day to 1,200 tons per day. As of the 3rd of December, the surface of the lava lake is 809 meters above sea level, which means the lava lake has risen 65 meters or 213 feet since the 29th of September 2021, the beginning of the eruption. Also, 34 million cubic meters of lava erupted since the eruption started. That white bird there that's flying over the lava lake is called Kauai Kea, or the white-tailed tropic bird. They breed mainly in Hawaii and Midway, and their populations are stable. Here is another capture of the Kauai Kea by the USGS. Okay, moving on. Seismicity remains elevated at the summit. However, all is quiet on the East Rift Zone, with no earthquakes on the East Rift Zone whatsoever for the past week. The U.S. Geological Survey also captured this spectacular view of the lava pond inside the west vent. And also, you'll be able to see the Koae Kea bird fly from left to right. There she goes. Let's get a little bit closer and slow it down. Bird versus the volcano. And let's get a little bit closer. There it goes, right next to the lava pond. Actually, it's not that close. It just looks that way because it's a zoom lens. It's probably about at least a few hundred meters away from that active lava pond. Here is a thermal time lapse of the complete eruption starting from the 29th of September all the way up until the 4th of December. The west part of the lava lake contains the primary active vent and in fact that is the only vent that is currently active inside the lava lake. The eastern part of the lava lake, however, started to crust over. However, under the cool crust, it is still molten. As you can see, there's a bunch of squeeze-ups on the outer edge of the lava lake, including the eastern part of the lava lake. Now this is the KW PanCam for the same time frame in time-lapse format. <laughs> 